let's look at this number pattern. Uh, it's 2, 4, 7, 11, 16. So let's find the rule of this number pattern. So I've written the x's here. So I'll start the first number is 2. So I'll write and, uh, against 1, I'll write 2. The second number is 4. So I'll write 4 against 2. The third number is 7, 11, and 16. Okay. Now, to find the rule of a number pattern, uh, you have to find the difference between the numbers. I'll explain why. So, the difference between these two numbers is, is 2. Okay, or 4 minus 2 is 2, or 2 plus 2 is 2 plus 2 plus 2 is 4. This difference between these two numbers is 3. This difference is 4. And this difference is 5. So can you see this difference has also got a difference. So let's find the difference of the difference, which is called the second difference. So the first, second difference is 1 here. This is 1. And this is 1. So whenever you have the second difference constant, so this is a rule. Good to remember rules. So the rule is, if second difference if second difference of any number pattern, if second difference is constant, that should tell you that it is a quadratic pattern. This should imply that it is a quadratic number pattern. Now, I hope you know quadratic number pattern has this for general formula of y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So the intention of this uh, this video is to find what's the value of a, what's the value of b, and what's the value of c. Okay, so to find the value of a, okay, to find a, to find a, the rule is, it is the half of the second difference. It's half of the second difference. That's the rule. So what's half of 1? So A is half of 1, which is 1 half, or 0 0.5. So A is, you can say, 0 0.5. Now to find C, to find C, the rule is, it is the Y value. It is the Y value when X is equal to 0. So now we need to figure out what is y value when x is equal to 0. So following the same pattern, you can understand this difference. If this difference should be 1, isn't it? So let me use a black color. So this difference, using logic, this difference is 2, 3, 4. So this difference, the first difference between these two numbers has to be 1. Then only you can maintain the second difference of 1. So if this is 1, and this is 1, you can say this, the number corresponding to 0 would be 1, because 1 plus 1 is 2, or 2 minus 1 is 1, whichever way you understand. So, this is your C. Okay, we'll check this. This number is your C. So, we can say, well, this is the rule. It's the Y value when X is equal to 0. So, when X is equal to 0, what's your Y value? That is 1. So your C is 1. So we have figured out A, which is half or 0.5, and C is 1. So let's write the equation again. Quadratic equation is Y is equal to AX squared plus BX plus C. So we know what is A. A is 0 0.5 or half, and we know C is 1. So let us put this back in this equation. So your y will become a 0 0.5, so this is 0 0.5x squared, plus bx, plus c is 1. Okay, now for the final rule, to find b, to find b, find b, you can take any value of x and corresponding value of y. So put x is equal to 1, and whatever y is. When x is 1, what is y? So we'll have to go back to the table. When x is 1, your y is 2. 
So let us put that when x is 1, y is 2, where we are going to put this back in this equation. Okay, so let me scroll up. So let me use my blue color. So this is y. Sorry, what is y? y is 2. So I can put 2 is equal to 0 0.5 times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus 1. So we'll have to do a little of maths here. So this is 0.5. 1 squared is 1 plus b times 1 is b plus 1. So 2, 0.5 times 1 is 0 0.5 plus b plus 1. So this is 1 plus 0 0.5 or 0 0.5 plus 1. So 2 is equal to 1.5 plus b, which implies, you can use your logic, 1.5 plus what gives you 2? So b has to be 0 0.5. So b is 0 0.5. Okay, so let's again write the equation. y is equal to, it's always good to write and check at each stage. y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. So what is a? a is, let us scroll back, a is 0 0.5. a is 0 0.5. So let us put a is 0 0.5. b is is also 0.5 and c is 1 so c is different than a and c so your equation is y is equal to 0 0.5 x squared plus b is 0 0.5 x plus 1 so this is your equation so let us check this so let us let me write this properly so your y is 0 0.5 x squared plus 0 0.5x plus 1. Okay, now those who don't have the graphic calculator, you need to know how to check your answer. So to check my answer, when x is 2, I should get y is equal to 4. This is what I'm going to check without the calculator. So putting x is equal to 2 in this equation, I should get y is equal to 4 if my equation is right. So let us check it. So y is 0.5 times 2 squared plus 0.5 times 2, 0.5. This is 0.5 times 2 plus 1. Okay, you have, you have to be careful here. So y is 0.5 or half times 4 plus half times 2 plus 1. So your y is equal to half of 4 is 2, half of 2 is 1 plus 1. So y is equal to 4. And lo and behold, we, we should be proud and we can give ourselves a smiley face. Now, we have checked our equation. Now we need to, I'll show you how you can get this equation y is equal to, oops, I don't want to write with a smiley face. So equation was y is equal to 0.5 times x squared plus 0.5x plus 1. So let's check that on a calculator. If you have a graphic calculator, if you have a graphic calculator, so let me write the series. I want to see the sequence here with the calculator. So it is 0, 1, 1, 2, and 2, 4. You need only three sets of numbers to check your answer on the graphic calculator. So what you have to do is you have to go to your stats menu. And in list 1, you're going to enter the this is this is called x coordinate so i'll enter 0 1 2 and list 2 i'm going to enter 1 2 and 4 1 2 and 4 and then you have to go to graph and then we want we're going to draw a scatter graph so exit and then graph it so these are the three points 0 0 sorry this is 0 1 1 2 and 2, 4. And then you have to press calculate F1. And then we know this is a quadratic equation. You press F4. 
So can you see A is 0.5, B is 0.5, and C is 1. And then you can also draw it. 